Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro, where I'll be showing you how to take headlights like this on this beautiful Lamborghini Gallardo. Messed up, scratched up, turfed out, and turn them into something more like this. Let's go. Much, much better. Not perfect, but let me show you why. Uh, but close enough. Beautiful. Aha! Afterward, I knew the rules, I understood what I was supposed to do, but I didn't. I couldn't. I was compelled to stay. Compelled to disobey. Now here I stand because of you. Perfect! Okay, uh, before we get started here, this is a 2006 Lamborghini Gallardo, a very beautiful vehicle. And I know what you're thinking, oh, it's a 2006, and no, they're still well over a hundred thousand, well over a hundred fifty thousand dollar vehicle as it sits. And uh, they don't really depreciate that much, and they, um, you know, still hold their value far as uh, what they look like. This car, if you drove past me right now, I would think it was a brand brand new one because they pretty much look the same as the brand new ones or the newest ones which I think they stopped making them around 2014 or whatever but it's one of the most aesthetic ones I think they've ever made it has that real deal supercar uh, look to it it's very uh, beautiful even has a see-through hatch on the back where you can see the engine. You'll see that later on when I do a walk around. But you see, one of the problems here with this vehicle is um, it is it's an Italian vehicle. Okay, that's not the problem, of course. Um, but it's a very fine vehicle with the engine in the back. Okay, so what happens when the engine is in the back? They put the trunk in the front. So what I'm thinking uh, through uh, owners or however many owners this vehicle has had um, throughout the years or whatever, all these deep scratches, and you'll see throughout the uh, video, some of these deep scratches uh, are permanent or semi-permanent. When I say semi-permanent, I'm referring to the fact that it might take a couple headlight restorations to get it out. It would make zero sense to just do um, enough removal for three or four headlights, uh, headlight restorations on one headlight. You gotta be responsible enough to know what you're doing and to tell your customer that, like, inform them, like, hey, uh, these ones right here are not gonna come out. It wouldn't make any sense to do this. And most likely, they don't wanna, you know, they're not gonna wanna do it once you explain to them what's going on. Cause some of these are like diamond cuts, like maybe a piece of metal or jewelry hit it or something. Um, but, anyways, it's a trunk. So when you're going on a trip, when you're going to the gym, whatever the fuck somebody does with a Lamborghini, right? I would know only in my dreams, right? <laughs> this is the closest I've ever been to one, probably closest I've ever get to one, and I'm okay with that. My little car is uh, my own personal Lamborghini, uh, but anyhow, uh, the trunk is right there. So what I suspect happened, because this car, I inspected the paint, and this car has not been going through car washes and shit like that. So I'm, I was really curious and I thought about it a long time. Why the fuck are these scratches so deep and why is it so bad? It's really sun beaten, as you saw. Okay. Um, really sun beaten as a 2006 uh, headlights should be on any vehicle. Um, so, uh, you know, I see that. But on top of that, you saw how many scratches and deep scratches, different, every level of scratches on this headlight okay um what i came up with is that it's like i said it's the trunk and people are putting things in the trunk okay uh they're sliding their bags in there they're 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 you know motioning around in that area if, you know if you look at any kind of vehicle most of those little scratches like that are on the doors where your fingernails go or around the trunk area um, that's because there's a lot of motion going on there. There's a lot of people getting it out, getting it out of the vehicles, and there's a lot of equipment going in and out. So I'm honestly thinking it's luggage and bags and backpacks and whatever else people are putting in this trunk right here to the uh, left. Over the years, uh, even though this car is so beautiful and well maintained, it is um, it's still almost a 20 year old vehicle. But anyhow, a 20-year-old Lamborghini is, is a little bit different than just a regular 20-year-old vehicle. But you'll see at the end that there's some um, uh, permanent damage that's there. Or majority of it, I believe, is semi-permanent. And there might be one little scratch that might be somewhat permanent that might take like more than 
uh, uh, you know, four headlight restorations to get it out completely. Uh, but as you see, um, or I said in the beginning, um, it's damn near perfect. It's about a 99% turnaround besides those uh, two little scratches and just a couple rock chips, okay? Where are the rock chips coming from are the uh, rock indentations coming from? Because this is a very fast car, okay? Not only is it a very fast car, but they have very hard headlights, okay? As you see here, um, all of the discs that I'll be growing through or whatever, um, you know, I tried to get away with, uh, you know, uh, if I if I could have used 10 P500s on here, I would have. It would have saved a lot of time. Uh, but I couldn't, and I kept trying to figure out what was the right grid, and it turns out the 220 was the right grid, which I'm using now. Um, but and typically, um, I used a lot of different, uh, um, a lot of different sandpapers throughout this. This video, of course, is sped up about half mass. Um, you see how I was doing my hand right there. I was checking the temperature of the light to make sure that there's no, uh, not too hot or overheating with all the sanding. Um, but anyways, this, uh, video is, as I was saying, this video is sped up about half mass. This one light took about 40 minutes. Okay. And I know what you're saying. Normally, um, a headlight restoration takes about 40 minutes. Yeah. Anywhere between about 45 minutes and an hour. On average, the hard ones are going to be about 45 minutes for the whole car, an hour for the whole car. So, um, these lights aren't really difficult. It's the fact that, um, they are extremely hard. Um, they're kind of, um, in retrospect, uh, compared to maybe a Kia headlight, uh, as far as hardness, uh, not quite, uh, the, uh, CHP vehicles are the, uh, excuse me, the, um, law enforcement grade, uh, headlight is a little bit harder. Um, it's actually, uh, if I had to give that the hardest headlight I've ever done was on this video here, the police video, um, police car video. And, uh, that, let's say that is a 10 far as. Uh, how hard it is, you know, level 10, okay, uh, 10 being the greatest or the hardest and the baddest headlight, one being the most, um, you know, easiest headlight or whatever, um, level 10, uh, this would be like a level 8, okay, so they're very hard and I had to do a lot of excessive uh, grinding or whatever, um, which is why I sped this up because I don't want it to be a 40 minute video, so anyhow, um, it's very difficult light far as that texture to work with. When it gets hard like this and it's a difficult light, it's really hard not to uh, scratch up the headlight using these heavy discs. I hate using them, but sometimes they're necessary like on this light. That is a uh, very bad format for any company to make headlights this hard, but I think they kind of had to because this vehicle can, can probably do over 200 miles an hour or damn near close to 200 miles an hour. I believe it has a twin turbo V8 or some shit in the back and it probably weighs like, I don't know, 1800 pounds or something. It's really light and it's really freaking small compared to my car. It's like half the size of my car and my car's not that huge or nothing. So, uh, this car potentially has been going really fucking fast in the past, all right? Um, so, some of those scratches could have even been from it hitting debris or something like that. Um, so, uh, some of, uh, besides some of the scratches, there's like pitting or whatever. There's little rock chips and divots and stuff in the light. So, uh, that's part of the reason why I switched up to doing the uh, P220s or whatever because uh, I had to go pretty much pretty deep a uh, deep removal uh, it's about two times deeper than what I would have had to do on a regular headlight um, just to get as much of that scratching and bullshit out the line but as I said um, now would you rather have some brand new crispy clean headlights for this vehicle for well over 10 grand right or would you just like to have a headlight restoration for uh, probably a really expensive headlight restoration. Um, I'm not gonna. I don't. I never go into the prices on here just because it's uh, it's not gentlemanly like. Okay, <laughs> you guys use your imagination, right? Uh, but what I normally charge for a like a high end vehicle or like a, my high range, this is probably about three of those. Okay. So, um, together. So, anyhow, it's an expensive headlight restoration. Why? Why, right? 
because you're working on this vehicle. You scratch the paint on this fucking vehicle. You're going to you're going to be closing down. You're going to go work at Walmart or something. Right. You're going to go fucking go to work at, you know, go back to plumbing or whatever the fuck you do. Right. Because you're going to be done. Right. You make a mistake. Right. This light, this light is so expensive here. Let me put it up here. Look at that. Well over five thousand dollars for this one light. So two of them together is well over ten thousand dollars just for the headlights. And you want to know something really funny? I've been telling everybody after I did this vehicle, and it always amazes me. There ain't shit different about these fucking lights. Not one thing different. There's no special mechanism that like helps you see through walls or helps you see farther or um you know, a uh, special material that it's made out of or any kind of special inserts or um, hey, I don't even think these damn things are HID or LED or whatever. I don't know what they are, but <laughs> I don't think they had their technology back then. But these lights are absolutely no different than the lights you have on your vehicle made with the same material. The same polycarbonate, the inside, the, the inside plastic and all that shit, the bulbs and all that shit, they're the same as what's in your vehicle, which, um, you know, are expensive headlights. The uh, vehicle um, that I'm driving that's next to me right now, the Acura TL, those headlights are about $500 a piece, all right? And they're even, they, they seem to be more complex than these headlights that are 5000 but what you're doing is... You're paying for the name and you're paying to be accommodated or, uh, you know, be accommodated for having this expensive ass vehicle. And, uh, you know, everything on this vehicle is, is just going to be elevated just because it's on this vehicle. Um, you know, and it's it's funny how they do that because I, I understand that like the braking and the suspension and the rims and all these things are souped up, but certain shit on this vehicle is not souped up and it's gonna just be insanely expensive, like the rubber trim and all this bullshit, like the headlights and you know a uh, a door jam or you know anything on this vehicle is gonna be expensive as hell, uh, even though it shouldn't really be technically. But uh, anyhow, you see how I'm getting on those crevices right there. And any vehicle that has these crevices presence, which is about 99% of them, uh, you want to get into them really good and clean them out. Make sure they're dry before you shoot, okay, before you spray because uh, you have a nightmare. Once you spray in there and something goes wrong, you have to get in there and get you know clean it out and get the spray out or whatever because you sprayed over some kind of uh i don't know liquid or you sprayed over some kind of uh dried up um paste or something like that right um dried up compound or anything like that and you have to get inside there and do all that stuff is a nightmare so you want to make sure it's clean also it can hinder your um your application it can uh, lead to premature peeling and all kind of shit like that but as you see um, doing the same exact thing as uh, you've seen done on uh, you know one thousand uh, dollar Civic or whatever you've seen on my page you know whatever find the find the cheapest vehicle that um, I have done on this channel and you'll see the same exact process because there's no different from these lights there's no difference at all and quite frankly, shit, the headlights wow. on my vehicle or the headlights on some of the vehicles I've done on this uh, page or in the past or even this week are better looking than these headlights. These headlights are very unesthetic for what this vehicle is. Um, the shape is kind of cool, this like long ass triangle thing, but look at the inside. Like it's not like, um, let me say it, uh, for instance, a uh, G35 and Infinity, a regular G35 Infinity, right? A uh, car you could probably pick up for $5,000 if it was like a 2009 or something. Has better headlights than this. Shit you not. You know, just, you know, look it up and you'll be like, damn, it's way better looking headlight. So I would think these headlights would be so off the hook because this vehicle. But, it, you know, it, it, it suits this vehicle, though, because this vehicle is really pretty. So, I mean, you don't need to do much else to, uh, you know, make it look better. But this was a surprise uh, entry for the day. And it was a uh, on-the-spot appointment far as um, I was working on another vehicle all morning. And uh, I was working on a vehicle. It was right across from a, uh, 
marijuana uh, factory and they had they grew halfway uh in indoor okay this big old blue building halfway indoor and then half was outdoor and i had been working out there since about eight o'clock to about 12 o'clock i swear i was like man i'm getting high because all morning all i was all i was doing is smelling this weed you know coming out of this place right not not smoked i'm sure they were smoking too because i smelled some every once in a while but the actual smell of weed growing you know in in quantities right i was actually doing some extensive paint work um some uh paint correction and scratch removals and you know wash of wax all that stuff clay bar blah 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 um you know, with a uh, you know really messed up vehicle that needed some real paint, uh, you know TLC, and it was for a dealership uh, or a guy who owned a dealership or whatever, and um, got the call. And I, I thought the guy was joking at first. I was like, oh yeah, it's just a Lamborghini today out the blue, right? Because you see, um, these guys are a little more meticulous or whatever. But he was like, I just got the vehicle. And I want to take care of today. Can you come out and do it? And I was like, sure. So once I was done, I headed out that way, and sure enough, it's it's a Lamborghini sitting there, ready for me to work on. And I, you know, I was hackling the guy. I was like, "Yeah." So typically, after um, I'm done with the headlights, um, you know, I have to test drive the vehicle to make sure that they work. You know, I don't want you, I don't want to leave here and the headlights didn't work correctly. Uh, you know, I might have to do it again or something if it doesn't work. And he's like, "You really do." I was like, no, I'm just fucking with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, man, I, I was like, yeah, I was trying to drive it, but uh, I was just messing with it. So um, beforehand, uh, you know, when I talked to him on the phone or whatever, he was um, saying, oh, well, this guy said he will do it, uh, you know, for this much. And I was like, well, yeah, if you're going to take it to that person, have them touch that light for that much money. I was like, they don't know what they're doing, and they're probably a tweaker. Ha! And he started laughing. And I just tell the truth, like, you know, some people be trying to um, undercut and shit because they don't understand what's going on. Like, you're a fool. If you do this headlight for as much as you do another headlight, you're just a fool, unexperienced, and you just don't know what's going on in the world. So I put it down. You have this vehicle. I know you're not going to trust somebody, you know, you, you know, putting some bullshit out on your headlight that doesn't know what they're doing, right? You, you just think about it. If I have this vehicle, right? And I'm talking to a mechanic, and I'm like, hey, I need to get a tune-up. And he's like, oh, shit, you know, I'll do it for $1,000, right? And I call their places, and they're like, oh, man, $7,000. Something's wrong, right? Why is this guy doing it for $1,000? Uh, but a lot of times, the customer knows that shit. They're just bullshitting, trying to get you to match this, obviously, uh, tweaker or somebody who doesn't know what they're doing or somebody who has no background or no uh, track record of being any kind of good. And I get a lot of customers that come to me uh, because my track record's immaculate and I have, uh, you know, portfolios and my experience and work speaks for itself. So I just tell them the truth, like, you know, check, uh, you know, check their uh, Google uh, rating, check their, uh, you know, how many stars they got. Uh, check their reviews and all that shit like that and then check mine and get back to me I'll tell people that um, I was working on a car last weekend and a guy pulled up you know one of a couple people pulled up and uh, he said I got a car from your competitor too and I was like really what's my competitor and he showed me the car I said hey I tell you what you know you think about it you let me know when you're ready to make an appointment but I'd like you to go online and uh, check their Google review check their uh, Yelp or whatever uh, and then go check mine and I guarantee you you're gonna want to go with me because I mean I guarantee you I have a better review system than them. so he left and I remember the name of the company and I checked it out and they had like no Google page they had like uh, like uh, what was it three point something stars on Yelp right which means that there has been people who have uh, put negative notes on their shit for their work right <laughs> and all that shit and then it's like man I got hundreds and all this shit so it's like it's just different it's a different thing people know uh, what time it is or whatever if you explain it to them because there's always going to be some parking lot pimp or some crackhead that's going to be like I'll do the work for for a, a six pack of beer and a dollar you don't want that person to be working on your Lamborghini right or any of your cars right people are always trying to get the best deal but you never want to sacrifice quality uh, for the best deal because you know you get what you pay for right but if you see here um those scratches right there at the front 
those are permanent. Those are so deep. It's really going to take another like three to four headlight restorations to get them completely out, which you don't want to do all at once. Um, you know, that's just something up front. That's not going to hinder anything. They look, like I said, 99% better. So pretty much, I mean, you got uh, a couple options. You're going to get your headlights pretty much perfect like this. You know, just a hair under perfection because all the permanent damage. Or you're going to spend 5000 plus dollars for one of these motherfuckers. Me, I'm like, I'm going to be satisfied with 99%. Okay, 99% good. But look at this. This is my Lamborghini right there. And this is this Lamborghini. Okay. This one's half the size though, right? <laughs> Yeah, half the size with like, fuck, uh, probably like at least two times the horsepower, you know, probably well over two times the horsepower. But I'm sure this car is so light and probably has so much carbon fiber and all kind of stuff running through it. It's just super light. But look at that engine right there. Look at wow. that. I could throw that engine into a Chevelle or something. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that Lamborghini. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful car. While I was working on this car, about 10 people stopped just to look at it. Stay tuned. Afterward, I knew the rules. I understood what I was supposed to do, but I didn't. I couldn't. I was compelled to stay. Compelled to disobey. Now here I stand because of you. Perfect!